New York City, historically a melting pot of cultures and identities, is at a critical juncture as it grapples with the ramifications of its migrant accommodation plan. The policy, initially heralded as a testament to the city's inclusivity, has precipitated unforeseen challenges, compelling Mayor Eric Adams to reconsider the city's stance as a sanctuary state. The pivot is not without cause. New York is inundated with an estimated 180,000 to 200,000 migrants, imposing a hefty fiscal and logistical strain on the city's infrastructure and resources. This influx has ignited a widespread debate over the sustainability of such policies, especially when juxtaposed against the city's economic health and the well-being of its long-term residents. Mayor Adams, in response to plummeting approval ratings and escalating public dissent, manifesting in protests from Harlem to Park Slope, proposes a significant policy shift. This proposed recalibration reflects a broader reassessment of priorities, weighing the humanitarian impulse against the practical exigencies of urban governance and fiscal responsibility. The fiscal dimensions of the issue are stark. The costs associated with housing, health care, and other essential services for migrants are monumental, sparking a palpable sense of frustration among New Yorkers. Many residents question the allocation of their tax dollars, especially in light of the city's escalating living costs and the perceived dilution of municipal services. The mayor's policy pivot, notably the amendment of the right to shelter law to restrict migrants' access to long-term shelter services, signals a nuanced shift towards prioritizing the city's indigenous homeless population over newcomers. Yet this policy shift raises poignant questions about the fate of these migrants. With work permits hard to come by and the city's cost of living soaring, the prospect of migrants finding stable, affordable housing within their 30-day notice period seems bleak. This scenario portends a spike in homelessness, with migrants potentially joining the ranks of the city's visible homeless population, a reality that New York City, with its already stretched resources, is ill-prepared to manage. The reluctance of migrants to accept relocation offers outside the city underscores a complex dilemma. Despite the city's efforts to facilitate migrations to less congested, more affordable locales, there's a marked preference among the migrant population to remain within the city's precincts. This stubbornness exacerbates the city's logistical nightmares, compounding the challenges of managing public spaces, ensuring public safety, and maintaining the quality of municipal services. Beyond the immediate logistical and fiscal challenges, the migration crisis poses profound questions about New York City's identity and future. The city's allure as a global business and cultural hub is under threat, as evidenced by the migration of businesses and wealth to more hospitable environments like Miami. This exodus, driven by concerns over the city's management of its migrant crisis and the resultant strain on local resources, signals a potential shift in the urban economic landscape with long-term implications for New York's status as a global metropolis. The policy pivot proposed by Mayor Adams is emblematic of a larger, more existential struggle confronting New York City. The challenge of balancing the imperatives of hospitality and inclusivity against the realities of economic sustainability and social cohesion is daunting. This recalibration effort, while pragmatic, invites a broader reflection on the values and priorities that should guide urban governance in an era of unprecedented mobility and migration. In sum, New York City's migrant policy conundrum is a microcosm of the global challenge of managing migration ethically and sustainably. Mayor Adams' policy shift, though controversial, underscores the intricate dance of accommodating newcomers while safeguarding the city's economic vitality and social fabric. This episode in New York's history invites a rethinking of what it means to be a sanctuary city in the modern age, posing tough questions about the limits of inclusivity, the responsibilities of urban governance, and the true cost of open doors in a world of finite resources.